What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in today's video it's going to be another care guide and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a very interesting species of dotty back called the white tailed dotty back. Now before I get started guys be sure to head on over to Instagram, follow me at Eagle Aquatics, no caps, no spaces for uh, exclusive content on all my stuff. Instagram usually sees it for YouTube so head on over and give me a follow. I have been keeping this fish for a few months now and it's really grown on me by being a very curious and interesting fish to watch and keep in my reef tank. Uh, before I get started, I have a pretty comical story with this fish, as a lot of my fish. Um, so I hadn't seen this guy for like two days and I started to wonder if he might have jumped out or died or something. I knew he wasn't dead because my other fish were fine and this guy eats like a pig. Uh, he didn't jump out. I looked around everywhere and couldn't find them. But I remember I had two big overflows in this tank and uh, sure enough, I looked behind there and he was in one of them. I uh, tried getting him with a net, but it was impossible and I'm uh, not gonna take the plumbing apart to get to him because that would just be a huge mess. So then I thought, why not fish for him? So I baited a barbless micro, the smallest hook you could buy uh, for like tiny little baby bluegills and stuff and baited it with a piece of krill and he went for it. I actually caught this fish. I hooked him. It was the funniest thing I've ever done with anything related to aquariums. Uh, he was totally fine, uh, not harmed at all. He came right off the hook. Uh, <laughs> it was just hilarious. Um, and he learned his lesson. Uh, so now let's get on with some info on this guy. Like all pseudochromas, they tend to be rock dwellers constantly swimming in and out of all the rock in the tank. This is a fish that is going to utilize your whole rock structure and is going to be constantly exploring uh, new additions to your reef tank like coral and stuff like that. Uh, that is my favorite thing about these fish. Uh, the colors on these fish are not the most striking, but it's when you look close to this fish uh, and see the structure of it. Uh, the dorsal fin extends all the way down the whole back and is covered in small patterns of white dots, um, as is the whole body of this fish. Uh, these fish typically are light gray in color with a striking white tail. They also had um, two very unique bright red dots on the pelvic fins that you, uh, when you see them, you can tell that that is a white tailed dotty back. Now, hands down, this fish has the coolest eyes of any fish I keep in any of my tanks. Uh, they're the most like bright, almost sky blue, and they really pop with the fish more, with this fish's uh, more subtle colors. Uh, just insane eyes. Um, these fish don't grow very big, maxing out around three inches, and I would say the minimum tank size for these fish should be around 30 gallons, maybe a little less. Um, these are very hardy fish and great uh, beginner fish, and will eat almost anything you put in the tank. I feed mine both frozen and flake food, and he goes nuts over it. Uh, the personality is where this fish really stands out though, uh, like all pseudochromus. Uh, they are always watching you, and they'll follow you around the tank, secretly watching you. Um, which is why I think this fish is pretty cool. And when they're hungry, mine will come close to, the, to my tank's glass and just stare at me. Uh, it's a pretty funny fish to keep. Uh, really, really cool. Now like all dotty backs, these guys uh, are a semi-aggressive fish and only one should be housed in a tank. Uh, the only fish I've seen mine bicker with is the Melanaris rats occasionally, but it's nothing really uh, bad at all. Uh, these fish will run you about $25 to $30 at most fish stores, but you don't see them every day because they're not as common as other dotty backs. Uh, so your fish store may have to special order one in for you. So overall, this could be a very unique and very fun and interesting fish to add to your reef tanks. And like me, it can slowly become one of your favorite fish to have in your reef tank. Uh, so okay guys, thank you guys for watching another one of my care guides, this time on the white-tailed dotty back. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, be sure to check out my whole playlist on all the care guides, all the species fish, coral, inverts, and take a look at the 125 gallon reef tank series playlist. Uh, and also be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already done so uh, for exclusive content uh, at Eagle Aquatics. Leave a comment with any questions. 
and I'll see you next time.